All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome in. So a report came out earlier this morning saying that the New York Jets are shopping free safety Marcus May, okay? Now, I'm a Marcus guy. Uh, he plays my favorite position, free safety. He's been one of my favorite players uh, on the team for the last couple seasons. And, you know, of course, being from Florida, uh, personally, I've seen a lot of Marcus throughout the years. Um, really solid player. Big fan of Marcus, okay? But was I shocked, right? Was I surprised when I saw this report this morning? Absolutely not, right? Not in the least. Not in the least. Why? Because we literally talked about the same situation when we graded the Ashton Davis draft pick, right? I felt as though on draft night, and Ashton Davis, of course, third round pick, safety out of Cal, there was a lot of pushback on draft night by Jets fans saying, why are we taking a, a wide receiver? We have no, we have, we're desolate at that position. We need more wide receivers. We could have done more. Why aren't we taking an offensive lineman to protect Sam Darnold more? We, we need more help on the O-line. Why are we taking a safety when we already have the best strong safety in the league, Jamal Adams, and we have a really solid player, Marcus May, at free safety, right? He's a starting caliber guy who, I mean, you could take Marcus and you throw him on more than half of the teams in the NFL. He's contributing. He's going to be their starting guy moving forward. Why are we taking another one? That makes no sense. My argument, and it, you know, interestingly enough, Ashton Davis was actually one of my favorite players uh, or favorite draft picks that the Jets made. Uh, could have even been my favorite. I love that pick, okay, because, you know, a bunch of different things, how he fits in the Greg Williams defense. I, I love his ceiling. I just love his versatility on the defensive side of the football. But anyway, when we were grading that pick, we talked at nauseum about how this makes Marcus May expendable because going into it, we have to remember, going into the year, Marcus May is 27 years old. He's dealt with a ton of injuries. Going back to his college career, I mean, he has not shown an ability to stay healthy consistently. Okay, now he did play the entire season last year. That's great. But even his second year uh, you know, in the NFL, he missed a ton of time. He missed a huge chunk of games. More than half the year he missed. Um, you have to look at that. As far as, you know, when you're Joe Douglas, when you didn't draft a guy, when you're looking about or, or looking to extend players on the roster, um, you know, guys that he might have not drafted, guys that he might have not liked in college, now he's stuck with them because obviously he was with um, the, the Ravens and the Eagles and, and whatnot. He wasn't with the team. So when Joe Douglas has to make these tough decisions, he has to think to himself, you know, who, who's going to make the cut? And I mean, when you look at Jamal Adams, strong safety, and of course, two different positions here, but Jamal is the best strong safety in the National Football League. Obviously, Joe Douglas wants to keep him as a Jet. He does so much, um, you know, off the field, leadership, all that good stuff. Jamal is such a stud, right? He has got to remain a Jet. And Jamal has also made it public that he wants to remain in the green and white as well. But Marcus May is a little expendable. Remember, they came in in the same draft class, so their time is, you know, some the time is ticking, right? As far as extending both of these guys, I think Ashton Davis instantly makes Marcus May expendable. I think Davis is the better fit for the defense than Marcus. I, I think when you look at Davis, he's what twenty three. Marcus is twenty seven. Marcus has had more injuries. Um, Marcus, you're going to have to pay him a lot more pretty soon. I think this. I, I, I think this is obvious. I, I think Marcus May should get traded. Um, I'm not 100% saying Davis is 110% ready to play and take over the reins of free safety and just dominate. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying Davis gives Greg Williams a ton of versatility on defense. He could play the free safety position at a high level. He could come down and thump guys in the in the uh, run game. He could play nickel. He could help out on special teams. I love the action Davis pick. Um you know, and I, I feel like this does, in fact, make May expendable. Um, now, what can we get for him? I'm not really too sure. I would think at this point, Joe Douglas would like to add a player. But knowing that training camp is right around the corner, I think he might want to flip uh, Marcus May for a pick before training camp. And then really scour the waiver wire, see, see who's getting cut, who's not making the teams, and then pouncing on players then. Um, might as well recoup, try to recuperate a, a like another draft pick uh, moving forward now before we see who gets cut because the last thing we want is to trade Marcus May for a wide receiver and then a couple really good ones end up hitting the market that Joe Douglas had his eye on and then we go out and we sign them and now we have a surplus of wide receivers when we could have had wide receiver and a draft pick so that's my thought thought process on it I love Marcus May if we keep him fantastic I love him 
but I like Ashton Davis a little bit better. Um, I love the pick on draft night. Again, there was I felt as though a lot of fans hated the pick because of how many safeties we have. But I, I, I just think the writing is on the wall with Marcus. And I think as soon as we pick Davis, that's kind of what it showed. Um, I don't think it, it, it's a threat to Jamal Adams at all. Right. I, I know there was a couple people saying, like, now what are we going to do with Jamal? I, I view Ashton Davis as more of a free safety anyway. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Go Jets.